Okay guys, so if you hear chewing in the background, it's because my dog decided to eat like right when I'm filming this, so the chewing is her. Anyway, so today we're gonna do Loffler Randall's um, Nicolette Sandal. These were DM'd to me by Vic Styles. She sent me these shoes and I was like, oh my gosh, these are so cute, I need to DIY these. So this is a very easy DIY, but <laughs> I actually did already make them and with fur like I used craft fur and I didn't really like how it came out I felt like it was just it looked too crazy like they're already crazy shoes and I'm not like that flamboyant in how I dress so they were just they just looked too heavy so I took another look at the shoes and decided that um oh my gosh she's chewing so loud <laughs> and I decided that the best thing to do is um, to use feather boas, which I swear to goodness, I feel like I use in every DIY. It's not on purpose. I, apparently, that's like a trend. I didn't make it up, okay, guys? It's not, it's not me. So, feather boas is going to be a better thing to use for this DIY. And you just need shoes that I destroyed, and I'm gonna, like, re-DIY them. And then scissors and a glue gun. Measuring tape is um, optional because it might, it's gonna come in handy to kind of measure each one of these when you're putting them on the shoe, which we'll go over next. So that's all you're kind of gonna need for this DIY. I'm excited for these, round two for me, but you're only gonna see this one round. <laughs> all right guys, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is cut all the pieces that you're gonna need for both shoes. So what I used were three inch pieces of the boa. So for both shoes, you're gonna need two pieces each for each color, except for the black. The black, you're gonna need eight pieces total. So go ahead and cut those and then set them aside and then you're gonna place them on the shoe next. Like I said, the next step is to just glue the boa pieces onto the shoe. So for this part, I'm definitely looking at the original shoe because I want to make sure that I put the boa on in the same order that it's on on the shoe. So make sure you use the original shoe as a reference. So then the shoe looks a little bit crazy, but you know what the next step is always when we use these feathers is to trim, trim, trim. Otherwise, you're going to look crazy with these shoes right now. So you kind of just trim like crazy. There's a lot of trimming to be done. That's probably the longest part of this DIY, honestly, is trimming the shoe. So um, go ahead and trim it to your liking, as poofy, as not poofy as you like. Um, and that's the final step. That's it guys, this is the final product. You have La Fleur Randall Nicolette lookalikes. I love how they came out. I think they look very similar to the original and you know how I feel. When a shoe just looks this crafty, I feel like just make it yourself. You save yourself a lot of money and you know it's a trend so it's not gonna be in style forever. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you try it, like always, send it to me. I want to see your little creations. And if you have a suggestion on a shoe DIY, be sure to send it my way. Leave it in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time.